Hi everyone, Jake here, and today we are going over the new Essence Emporium, which might be the last Essence Emporium we ever actually get, which is kind of weird. Now, the Essence Emporium is a shop, a special shop that comes onto the League of Legends client every year, where they sell skins, they sell chromas, they sell icons, they sell some mythic essence, which used to be the gems, for blue essence or IP as it used to be. Now, this will be the last one, um, Riot saying that they're gonna rework this because it's in need of a change. It has apparently great um, strain on the client, which I don't really understand. I mean, I don't know coding, so it might have a strain changing from one currency to another. Like, do you know what I mean? It did actually crash the shop the day it came live on the 28th. So I can actually kind of see it actually being a great strain. Um, but yeah, it's a really good thing. We're going to go straight in and see what we can get. The one skin you can get from this uh, little mini event is Earthwick, which costs 150,000 blue essence. Now, I'm only on 2,000, and Earthwick is one of the classic skins. It's probably one of the rarest skins as well, just because very few people have fucking 150,000 blue essence to go spare. Um, it's a cool skin as well. I mean, I don't play Warwick, but if I did, I would want that skin because it's rare and I love it. Uh, there are a bunch of accessories. Emotes you can get. We have access to a lot of the creator emotes. So Riot has creator programs where they team up with a bunch of creators on YouTube and Twitch and they give out exclusive emotes and chromas. This Sona one was from the Odyssey event where you had to like... I'll tweet, a hey, retweet this tweet and I'll pick one random person to get this emote. And now they're bringing it out for the Essence Shop. The Make It Rain emote and the Money Bags emote. If you buy one of these, you get, I think, 50,000 Blue Essence. Back a day used to be, you get one gen stone. So I hope it's still the same situation. You can get a Mystery Ward and an Essence Collective Ward. I mean, I would spam this if I had things to spam and, I didn't, and if i had blue essence to spam and didn't want to buy anything else currently though i do use one of the best wards going which is one i acquired in 2014 20 fucking 14 where my friend in america let me move my camera on this side when my friend in america met a riot and she got me a fist bump ward which is i think a rare, a rare one but I, I love it anyway <laughs> The other thing you can get is a bunch of exclusive icons. You can get a, para, a Baron Hat Poro icon and a bunch of Champy icons, but I can't see the Champy icons here. You can just go for a random mystery icon anyway and get one of these ones, which are really, really nice. But if you are planning on spending some Blue Essence for an icon, I do recommend getting some of the noxious mystery boxes they got one for like each of the regions in runeterra and it gives you these cute ass let me try and find show you an example it gives you these really little mini cutie versions of uh the champions like this blitz crack one i grinded for ages there's a ziggs uh caitlin victor twitch camille vi like they're really 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 adorable versions and if the effort shop's not going to be around for a while this might be your last chance to grab your favorite champion which is in a very cute little chibi way um i need to double check if there's an annie icon or a vega icon because they are my favorite champions or a swain is there a swain there is a swain the other thing you can get during this mini event is chromas they release a bunch of chromas available for Blue Essence. They release the ones that were in the partner program, which are the Emerald skins. So each time there's a skin line that comes out, the partner program has a Emerald skin that goes along with it. So then partners, again, like retweet, retweet, respond to this, answer these questions, get involved in this event on my stream, and you have a chance to win one of these skins, but now everyone has access to them in the Essence Emporium. There is a lot, a lot of nice ones. Um, I don't think there's any four skins I own, but uh, I mean, there's a little Heimerdinger one's adorable with his little moustache. <laughs> uh, 
Into my not Nico is pretty good. Star Guardian Zoe one's pretty good. Yeah, but these these um these chromas are the rare ones because they're only available now at, in the Essence Emporium, when, which is going to close soon and get reworked. But with Riot, we don't know if that's going to be like you know going to come back like next year or like we we don't know. Um, so it could be next year. It could be tomorrow. It could be. 3,000 years, it could not even come back. But there is just a lot of stuff to grab. <laughs> and a lot of it from recent skins as well. And then, I mean, the Ariversary skins are pretty popular, where she uh, got a chroma for each one of her first skins to make them look slightly different. I will be getting the Kefi Cuties Annie skins. Um, it's just, it's, it is a lot. I will get in more of the Scaffy Cutie Soraka skins. If I had the Severe skin, it would, I'd use that. There is a hell of a lot on for Blue Essence. And I'm going to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. There is everything and anything. One of the ones that are popular that people really want to get. Spirit Box, Kimbridge, um... Chromas, this obsidian one is so good in game. Honestly, it is beautiful. Well, I don't. Even, I didn't even know that I had Spirit Blossom Yone, but I got to get a chroma for him now. Spirit Blossom Yasuo, I'd get obsidian. That is a nice fucking chroma. Infernal Karzix, Arcanist Shaka, yeah, you get the gist. There's a lot of chromas to go through, and I like chromas. It like makes skins that are really really good. Like you know, a little bit more um, customizable, a little bit more. Um, you know you if you want it to be and then even if you don't have any skins i think there are like basic chromas you can get for like just normal champions like um lucian has just some basic chromas or it's like a red lucian or a blue lucian like here like cassiopeia has one where i mean these chromas are terrible I'm not gonna lie i would not get curse cassiopeia because it's just slightly Someone's turned the contrast up, someone's turned the brightness up kind of deal. I just know the base Cassiopeia skin. But if you're going to do like a base skin version of a chroma, you need to go full on out. You need to make a like turquoise, like or purple or big. You just need to go all out, get that color in there, make it completely different. But I am going to spend a while talking now. And this is going to test me as a commentator going through my horde of champion shards and there is no way to like mass disenchant here's the problem <laughs> i wish there was a way to mass disenchant because i do have quite a lot and i do this every year because i've had every champion since maybe 2017 <laughs> that was really gross i'm really sorry i don't know why but it's in the middle of summer i'm getting a cold does anyone get like a like, summer cold yeah, I've every champion since the middle of like 2017. So um I let all these little champion shards. You get a, a little champion capsule every time you level up. I'm level 280. Four. Jesus Christ, I've been on this game for a long time. I'm, I'm level 284 and I just keep getting these uh champion capsules with and I don't have nothing to do with them. Uh every five levels you get one that gives you like a random e uh, emote or like uh, some keys. So um, I have four Blitzcrank skin shards. Um, and then every 50 past 250, you'll get some Mythic Essence or a gem. Well, it used to be a gem. I'm pretty sure you get Mythic, mythic Essence now. Um, also, talking about the Mythic shop, like, I've not... I'm not sure that... I mean, I like it, of course. It's pretty good. It gives me access to, like, skins that I've missed in the past. But... For like people that grinded events to get these skins, it's a bit of a kick in the balls, you know what I mean? Especially when it's like these skins are apparently so like exclusive and like this is the last chance you're gonna get them, and then like that's the point of the skins, and then they come back in a mythic shop, so it's kind of like a kick in the teeth for people that did grind them. And a lot of people like spend a hell of a lot of time like grinding these kinds of skins. I mean, what one did I really really grind? Do I have any? I swear, I've got quite a few mythic ones now. I mean, I used to buy a couple of passes. I haven't bought a pass in a while. Um, like this Zion, and this Zoe one, I was just like, and this Ezreal one was the ones that I was just like, shit, I bought a pass and I've got enough things to get some prestige points, so I'm going to get the prestige points. Uh, I did buy the Lucian. I did, 
a Lulu. I did grind for the Teemo and the Senna and the Evelyn, the original Evelyn one. Um, but yeah, oh, and Hexec Annie. Oh, Hexec Annie, such a good skin. And Hexec Malzor, Hexec Malzor has such a good skin. There's so many good skins. Um, back to the grinding. But it, it, it is a weird one. They've come out with like really cool skin lines for it now, which is, I'm glad. Although I do like Hextech because I'm in love with Hextech Annie and I like Hextech and Moo Moo, Hextech Rams. Like it is a good skin line. Like it is a kind of like bare skin line. Do you know what I mean? Like there's nothing really like cool going on with it. Um, It's definitely not mythic standard. Do you know what I mean? Like if you're going to spend and like grind for a long, long time, I feel like you need something a little bit more than than what the Hextech skin line gives you. I mean, Hextech Annie, Hextech Malzahar is his best skin, hands down. There's no choice about it. I mean, he's like a fucking robot, and I love the the, the way all the things work together. But something like Hextech Ziggs is just a bit dry. So I'm glad that they have things like... They did have Dreadnova Darius, and there was a Hecarim skin where he looks like a robot. Like them kind of skins, I think they should have done that for the, all the people instead of just giving like a, a, a few champions just a hex kit skin. Like everyone should have got a unique mythic skin instead of just the the hex tech skin line. I mean, hex tech Annie was the first one to have his have a mythic skin uh, for or her, and then um, there was a few others straight after that. But now the last one that came out was. Ashen Knight Pike, which is a really good skin. It looked really, really nice. Probably one of the best Pike skins. And now we have Ashen Knight Pantheon, which I heard not a lot of people on Reddit really liked. Like the uh, PB feedback thread for that specific champion skin was uh, downvoted to hell and back. Um, but I looked at the trailer. I thought it looked fine in game. To be fair, everyone was like, why is he shirtless? I'm all like, it's Pantheon. Pantheon is shirtless, and please keep him shirtless, because Pantheon. Um, <laughs> and maybe I just prefer the the purples and, like, the spirits and, like, the effects on the Ashen Knight skin line compared to the the blues and the yellows and the just the Hextech. The, just reminds me a lot of Arcane with the Hextech skin line. Um, I think the Hextech skin line has a really good lore around it as well. Like, in each of the... Um, Splash Arts is like a teaser for like the other Splash Art like in Hextech Poppy she's like got like a grip on one of Malzahar's minions and Hextech Poppy came out first and Malzahar came last next and I think in Malzahar one there's like a uh, teaser for Ramus or Amumu and then you know it carries on and carries on and all of them seem to be like a prevalent figure in Piltover which is really, really fine. The Sijuani that's kind of like uh, the police officer in Piltover as, and instead of riding the giant boar, she's riding like this hex tech amalgamation, which is quite fun. Um, how many do we have left? Please say we've not got a lot. Uh, it's got, we've got quite a bit. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry. Also, I'm very sorry to anyone who really liked the mustache. I shaved it up. I was walking down the street with one of my friends and some little kid and some other people said I look like Jimmy Savile's cousin and that kind of threw me off a little bit I mean I know I didn't of course I know I was slaying it but um, maybe next time in the round I do it I'll probably like research how to properly shave a moustache because I was just like yeah 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 oh just cut it off here and then you know that Bob's your uncle what I probably should have done is actually like sculpt it a little bit and like you know add some dimensions instead of just being like willy nilly with it Man, this is taking ages. I do really feel bad because like this this is a collection of champions that I've disenchanted since the last fluorescent shop. And even then I didn't disenchant everything because I didn't really want everything in the last fluorescent shop. Um I'm gonna have to use all my blue essence now just because the only thing I'll use it on is new champions. And they don't come around that often. I do need to save 6,800 for Nylia when she comes out, so I can't spend all of this um blue essence. I'm pretty sure I'll earn it back before her, the next champion after Nalia comes out. But like Poppy given 90, like ain't gonna do anything. Compared, compared to like Kiana, that's gonna give me 1,200. Yeah, 1,260. Do you think we can make, we're not gonna make the 150,000 mark. I wish we could make the 150,000 mark, honest to God, like I really do. 
because I genuinely would buy Earthwick. Not because I don't play Warwick, but just like for the novelty of owning uh, Earthwick. The other uh, Warwick skin I got is Grey Warwick, which you used to be able to only get with referring your friends to play League of Legends. And you had to refer five friends and they had to get to level 30. And me and my friend Darren, we literally made five fake accounts we connected to and referred from us from our main account. Played on them to level 30 just to get these free skins. We didn't even play the characters we were using them on. Like it was uh it was an interesting time in our lives. And um I mean I've been playing this game for 12 years now. Like it's not 12 years, 10 years. It's time just goes by, man. Time just definitely goes by. I've wasted maybe 500 days of my entire being on this earth playing league and doing leagues related things which to me now sounds really really fucking sad and i should probably try something different um but it's my go-to i feel comfortable playing it i feel out of anything it's the thing i probably have most knowledge in like hobby wise um and that's weird for me because i always struggle to find like what is my hobby what am i good at like and then League is something that I can speak about and like, you know, I actually have a lot of game knowledge and stuff like that. I mean, I don't play very well, not gonna lie. I could play better if I like fully committed to it, but it's it's something that's fun and never really loses its novelty to me unless like a big fuck up in like the meta goes and I'm just like, ah, allow it, can't be asked for this today. <laughs> um, but League, League has a special place in my heart and just... Knowing I've done a semi-daily video for the past 20 days, I'm going to try and do a month, it has made me really, really happy. Like, I am a very lazy person. Like, it's it's difficult me to commit to something for a very long time. So I'm happy I've managed to commit to making a video on a semi-regular basis for the past so often. I'm going to hope for the month. And then I'm going to be really happy when that when that month comes around, because <laughs> um, I don't. I'm not. I'm not consistent. And I thank everyone for like positively uh, reacting to everything because I have actually had a lot of positive feedbacks. People really like. What's that? Oh, for some reason, people really, really like me watching reacting to skins and specifically the Star Guardian skins, which is kind of fun. Um, my worry now is that like. Although I love League, I play a lot of different games and it's it's me trying to figure out how to transition from League to that like variety kind of transition um, game, which is going to be difficult. Um, I'm going to try and stream Cult of Lamb when it comes out because that game to me is so fun. I played the demo on my channel, didn't get a lot of views, but I just had a lot of fun playing it. Um, so I'd like to share my experience with everyone and when when any time Bright releases a game I will be trying to do a video on it. Um, I should really do a playthrough of Ruined King. I'm currently playing for that at the moment. It's a really good game. There's a lot of depth and the thing is you each time you play like you could do a different build like you know there's a lot of different stuff you can do with that game um, and when when the when the MMO comes out oh. Am I going to waste time? I'm going to book off two weeks from work when the MMO comes out and it's just sweat. Well, do you know what's sad? I don't think we have enough blue essence to reach 100,000. We did, we did get pretty close though. We've got no other things. We've got... I mean, I could literally spend blue essence, mythic essence to get blue essence. Who would even try doing that? Um, I have a lot of Eternals as well that I need to use. I'd probably get Fiddle Six, Evelyn, Malkai, and stuff like that. But okay, onward to what I'm gonna buy. Loot wise, <laughs> let's go. Available essence and skin owned. Star Guardian and, and yeah, let's buy this. <laughs> I think this is how this is going to go. I want this. I want this. I'm gonna try and like get like a, a, a wide variety of skins for me. Like, for example, this Soraka skin, that looks the same as that. That that the green one's alright, but that's it. Pentakill, give me this, where he's got kiss makeup on. Um, 
give me like this pink one. Yo, I like always like the rose versions of the skins. Give me this. Um, see, I'm gonna look back and be like, why didn't I buy that one? That one looks really good. This old god war. Oh, my, that looks sick. I don't think I'd use anything else other than that pearl one. The green one, maybe. Again, I don't play war, so. To be fair, a lot of these are sick. I mean, we've got a lot of blue essence to go through anyway, so uh, let's just let's just spam buy everything. We're gonna buy this. Um, yeah, everything else is a little bit naff compared comparatively to the, the galaxy chromas. These are sick. Like, I might just I might buy each one of these. Maybe leave out a few. Like, I don't like these light blue ones. Probably not gonna buy them. But, like. Green ones, amethyst ones, emerald ones. Skarno is one of my favorite champions, and I'm so happy he's getting reworked. My um, back a day when jungle was like tolerable to play. Um, now I don't think I could do jungle. That you just get spam pinged and you just get called out every five seconds. There's literally no point playing jungle in my opinion. Um, but I used to play Skarna in the jungle and Sejuani and. Argus, when tanks used to be like, you know, hold their own in the jungle, now they don't hold their own in the jungle, which is kind of sad. Um, also, these brand chromas are really good because you can get one that this rose quartz makes him look human, which to me is fucking well, hot, for example, because the brand is quite hot. But um, pretty sick because, you know, we don't really ever see human brand other than the um, Ebonair skin. These ash skins are pretty good as well. But back a day when, um, you could play jungle tanks and it wouldn't be fine because they could like keep up or back at it you used to have like a choice you could either gank or you could farm um now it seems like you can do both ganking and farming and like you're not really gonna lose much what is the difference between tarzanite sapphire and it's just different shades of blue i see no point i know this this skin specifically has blue and pink um colors so we'll be getting the blue, your channelful mastery, your masterful performance challenges have been upgraded to blonde, your connoisseur challenges have been upgraded to diamond, your fashionista challenges have been upgraded to sure. Sure. I don't know the chance. The challenges are currently stressing me out. Like, I feel like I should have more than I actually have. But then I find out that I've literally got none. The scarf skin is pretty sick. Like, I've been playing for 10 years. I actually feel like I should be having, like, every fucking challenge unlocked at this point. Like, deal 10 damage towards. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that multiple times. Um, these Shaka Chromas are a bit grim. I'm not going to lie. If you're going to go, I'm just going to get the Emerald. Oh, this Brawn one is good. I'm going to get the one that makes him look like a jammy Dodger. I'm going to make the one that makes him look like Tiramisu. I'm going to give the one that makes him look like he's got a little jam tart on the front. Um, Sure, go on. And then these Zillion skins are pretty sick as well. Um, I brought, to be fair, the last skin I went out and bought, like with my own money, was this Zillion skin. Um, that Zillion skin is like one of the best skins going, where he's like throwing little cakes and he's got like little cake um, sound effects go. It is so cute. This Vagar skin's pretty good as well, but because I've got final buffs, I see no need to, you know, buy this kind of stuff. But now that I've got Chromas, maybe I'll give it a bit more work into it. Gotta give it pink robot greys because of the LGBT representation. Dragon Trader Lulu needs a pink skin. I need all the Daddy Braum skins, which make him shirtless. I need... Um, did I miss anything? Uh, no, I should be fine. Maybe get this Tarek skin... This pull pipe, these skins, these these chromas are a bit grim. I'll get the Robo one because it's gay. Emerald. I don't even know. I didn't even know I owned Mecha Karzik. See, this is the thing. I've played for so long. When I re-rolled random skin shards, they just go into my bank. And like it's for usually for champions that I hardly ever play. So um It comes down to oh like now we get into like the basic bitch skins. Yeah, I don't need anything for these. These ones have been around for a while, so if I've got a skin for them, I've got to get skin for them. This skin, though, I always want to use one of the lighter ones, and I never do. Dragon Blade, Talon. 
you're going to go for this one if you're going to pick one of these. And then Omega Squads is. And we've got 35,000 left. What are we going to buy? What are we going to buy? We need to say seven. We need to say 6,800 or. Um, or Nylia when she comes out. I mean, let's buy this. I didn't. I kind of just wanted to save then. I could have bought like a thousand champy emotes. Do I have the Swain um, champy? Let's see. Swain. I don't. Okay. So I'm going to try and grind for Swain. I'll get two. Oh, this is basically gambling at this point. Okay. We want Swain. Cute. Swain. No. Riven, why are you in Nox? No, she's Noxian, is she? Oh, she's in there. She's trapped there with Draven in the fucking... Oh. Screw it. Nalia can go suck my balls. <laughs> I want Swain. <gasps> ah! Let's go. Uh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm equipped in. I'm equipping. Look how cute that is. Do I have... I swear I've got the Annie one. I don't even think you can get an Annie, but I wish if, if you can get an Annie, then I'll be trying to grind for that. But yeah, that is me spending over 96,000 essence on all of these essences, which don't seem that big now, to be honest with you. I spent a lot on them Skarna skins. And the Star Guardian Ari one actually looks pretty good. You make sure it's looking like a mage uniform. Well, not a mage uniform, I am. Um, what's it called? School uniform, which is pretty sick. Let me see how old I am. 2013. This is my first ever well, icon I got in the 2013 five man Luna Revell event. And that was after I tried it. It took me like a year to convince all my friends to play. I was playing fucking um, art games on my own for like the longest time. What's my first ever skin? Uh... Please don't say it was. Please don't say it was that Shaka. Yeah, okay. Oh, Unchained Alistar. You used to get Unchained Alistar if you were uh, subscribed to the YouTube or Facebook. And then same with Riot Girl if you was, uh, followed them on Twitter. Um, this was the first skin I ever bought myself, was Reverse Annie. And it still to this day is one of the best skins going. Um, I hope they do stuff like this. And then this is the Bear Calvary Sidroni, was the first epic I bought. And then. It's all went from there. I think the addiction started with my skin addiction. And now we're, we're back at the top where I still get like kind of oldish skins. But because I have a lot of the legacy skins now, if I reroll, I get good skins. I get like fucking legendaries and epics and stuff like that. Just because I own half the like old skins, this one was a big get for me. Trisha from Kana, I missed it the first time around, and then I got it with the every roll, and I was so hype. But yeah, I'm gonna move on because I need really just shit. So mm -hmm. thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.